Can we shut the door, please, baby? Finally, we're alone. What is up, my, 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 my beautiful, beautiful people? It is me. <laughs> For some reason, I feel like, just get a little nervous sometimes. I got this idea for my beautiful, sweet daughter, Emma Chamberlain. Um, she did this a while ago, and I thought it was extremely entertaining. And then I was like, what's a better way to teach you guys about me than to tell you some embarrassing stories about my past? So we could all laugh about it and just kind of accept the fact that I'm embarrassing. I've written them down. Just a little side note, some of this stuff might not be that embarrassing, but it's still stuff that's ingrained in my memory as just so embarrassing. And then, don't even get me started. You know what I hate? I hate when people are like, oh my god, your cheeks are so red. Yeah, I know, I feel, I just, I can feel them burning. I'm clearly already embarrassed. Please don't tell me my cheeks are red because it just makes it worse. But they turn red just pretty much all the time. It's something I'm working on. Um, it's something that's happened for my whole life, so whatever. They're probably just gonna be red this entire time, but it's okay. Okay. So, a little backstory about me. I went to a private school from kindergarten to 12th grade, but kindergarten to 8th was with basically the same 35 kids the whole time. So we really got to know each other. You know, I remember a few things about elementary school, whatever, nothing too crazy. Sixth grade happened, you're in junior high, we got to carry binders, it was crazy. So when I was in sixth grade, I had a crush on this boy. He was my boyfriend from second to fifth grade, which is the longest relationship I've ever been in. In sixth grade though, we had broken up, but I was like still trying to impress him kind of, you know, wanted him to like really miss me and all the times that we had together, which was the two times we hung out outside of school with our parents, but whatever, I wanted him to really miss those days. So we were doing this obstacle course in PE class, and I think what I've realized thinking about these stories is in my mind I was a lot cooler and like cooler than I actually am or was. So I really wanted to impress him. We were doing this obstacle course and he was the first one that went. So he was like the first in line. So he was cheering on our team. And him and I were on the same team and I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna run so fast. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be the best girl and he's gonna be so impressed. This one thing that we had to do was run forward, touch the thing, run backward to the line. And I'm like sprinting, sprinting backwards, like as fast as I possibly can go. And he was like screaming when I was going. He was like, you're doing so well, my God. You're so hot. I'm just kidding, he didn't say that, but like that, that's like what I was envisioning. And so I was like, <laughs> and I ate shit and I fell and I broke my wrist. <laughs> and I was sitting there, my legs were out. And I was sitting there and I was like, I need to get my wrist. So then, to top it all off, then I went to the health office and I was like, I, I, my wrist really hurts, it really hurts. And they were looking like right here at this part, but they weren't looking at the side. And they were like, it's not swollen, you're fine, take an ice pack. My PE was the first class. The whole day I had to go keep switching out ice packs because no one believed that my wrist was broken. So I have the shame of eating shit in front of Jared. Because I was running so fast. And then, to top it all off, no one believes that my wrist is actually broken. And then we get home and I'm like, mom, my wrist still hurts. And she's like, no, the lady in the health office said it's fine. Then she went to run an errand and I went to take a shower and I couldn't squeeze the shampoo out and I was just screaming and crying in the bathroom. <laughs> I mean, the world's most dramatic person. My brother heard me and he called my mom and he said she had to take me to the hospital and she finally did. Then I had a cast on my wrist and then for my birthday I had a broken wrist and Jared. And I never got back together and it was all for nothing. But, oh well. I had my eye on, the, on a bigger prize a sixth grader. I went up a level and for some reason, I had enough balls to like just openly flirt. First of all, we never spoke. I never said one single word to this boy. It's not like we were friends. So Valentine's Day comes along and I picked out four of those sweetheart things. It said, you're cute, be mine, call me or something absurd. And 
who I, I don't even know and then I held them in my hand all of recess and I have like the world's sweatiest palms and then at the end of recess the bell rang and I walked up to him and I was like that's my extra sweethearts do you want them and he was like yeah sure random stalker I like Drop the sweethearts in his hand, they're like slowly peeling off my sweaty palm one by one. And then I'm like, he's gonna read them and get the fact that I'm telling him that I like him and he's gonna want to be my boyfriend. And then he took my sweaty sweethearts and didn't look at them and just shoved them all in his mouth and walked away. And I was like... Okay. Totally all good. Let's just think of something else to do. My brother knew I had a crush on him, so the next day my brother went up to him and told him I liked him, which was fine, you know, he was just trying to be a wingman. He knew my brother, but he didn't know me. Then I thought that was too forward. So then I went up to him. This is what our second conversation ever right after the sweetheart incident. And I was like, so my brother told you earlier that I had a crush on you and he didn't really respond. And I was like, it's not that I have a crush on you, it's just that I think you're really cute. And he was like, oh, okay. And then I walked away and um, safe to say nothing ever came of that. And then we went to the same high school and never spoke a single word to each other. And then he messaged me on Facebook and said, hey. And then like two hours later, I hadn't responded. And he messaged me again and said, wrong person. <laughs> So things never worked out, but I think he kind of peaked in like fifth grade anyway, so it's not that big of a deal. So then, took a few years off. Eighth grade, you know, took a little turn for the worse. A quick example of something that happened to me in eighth grade. We all graduated eighth grade. Girls have started getting flirty. Boys and girls are flirting with each other. People are kissing and stuff. Eighth grade was nuts. So we're all hanging out and by this like golf course thing for someone's like graduation party and we're like running around the girls are like how about we do piggyback races? When I say girls were flirting and kissing boys and stuff I don't mean myself because I, I didn't know how. So the girls were like hey lady hey girls let's Everybody should do piggyback rides on the boys. And I was like, yeah, totally. It was more just, how are we gonna get through this moment? <laughs> I was like, yeah, piggybacks, woo, piggyback time. <laughs> the girls like pick their prize. And you know, I picked mine and I um, think that was a one-sided choice. Cause I was like, hey, you, I'm coming for you. And he was like, okay. And as I was running, not even like cute, not like a cute girl run, I was like, <laughs> I was like, <laughs> to try to get on his back. And then I just launched into the air and he moved out of the way. And I fell and ate shit on the grass and like him and this girl ran off laughing. Now thinking about it, it's just funny and you know, you move on in life. But it was tough for young Kelsey to get through, but she did. All right, so ninth grade, I'm in a high school. I'm on the cheer team, I'm doing my thing. I guess nothing too bad happened. Yeah, there were definitely like a few minor things like my brother having to come up to me one day and be like, hey, you really need to stop carrying every single one of your textbooks in your backpack because you're walking around school completely bent over like a hunchback and my backpack was like a turtle shell and I was just walking around like this and he was like you look really weird my friends are all saying stuff to me about it <laughs> so that's uncomfortable definitely um just other things like being in 10th grade and we would practice on the same field as the JV football boys and so we try to impress them they would be at their practice we didn't exist and we would be like that's literally what I looked like I didn't look cute just like gyrating around the football field waiting for someone to notice me or any of us really we were like put on move move shake shake you know that song and there was like one move that like you did that but you're like moving your hips around and we were all like uh 
Who here wants to do the move move shake shake dance? And <laughs> this is what we do. They'd go on their water break. We would drop everything <laughs> to start doing the routine when they were on their water break. We'd be stunting, like holding a girl up in the air and be like, come down, it's water break. And then we'd be like, okay, so for this part, is it like one of these or is it like three? Do you do this too or which part is that? And their water breaks were like 15 seconds long and we, we milked those 15 seconds for all it was worth and Pretty much everyone on the team got a boyfriend. I was on the other half that didn't. I still think those boys are dreaming about the move, move, shake, shake dance. Let's see. So I think this was in like 11th grade because 12th grade I, I had my act together, but 11th, I was still a little weird. So <laughs> we had to cheer at volleyball games. There was one game. I think it was like a bigger game. I don't know. I just remember there being a crowd and me being excited to be out there on the floor cheering for the boys. Actually, I think it was girls volleyball, but cheering for the ladies. I have my cheer uniform on. I'm like really feeling myself, you know. When you're wearing that uniform, anything's possible. Just kidding. It was all done up. AKA I put eyeliner on that day. So we're walking into the crowd. The crowd is on one side of the gym and we have to enter the gym from another way. And I like have my bag and I'm like ah, ha, ha, laughing with the girls. And the, everyone's in the student section facing us, watching us walk in. And I'm the first one. Like I specifically remember thinking, look, Cool, because people, people can, people are watching you. So I'm like walking, trying to play it cool, and out of nowhere, someone from the other side of the volleyball court, because the volleyball players are like warming up, someone hits the ball as hard as they possibly can, and it smacks me directly in the face. A perfect shot. I'm like, and it just comes, I didn't even... You just, you know when you just hear like out of nowhere, blindsided me, hit me so hard. I literally was like, just pretend nothing happened. <laughs> pretend that the whole student section didn't just see you get hit in the face with the volleyball. It was just kind of like life smacking me in the face, reminding me that I, I'm, I'm not cool, so I needed to stop acting like it for five seconds, but no one said anything to me about it, so I was like, oh, I got away with that. No one even saw. Someone after the game was like, how's your face doing? And then everyone's like, yeah, I saw you get hit in the face with that ball when you first walked in. Oh my God. It was mortifying. Yeah, so still remember that. That is pretty much it. I mean, I know there are definitely more embarrassing things that happen, but I feel like I've shared enough embarrassing things that have happened for, for today, for now. This is just a little taste. And it's also just to give you guys hope that if shitty, embarrassing things are happening to you, it's gonna get better. Look at me. <laughs> Look at me laughing about it now. Just kidding, but it really, it really does get better. And the stuff that seems like a big deal really isn't that big of a deal. But it still is kind of embarrassing. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you want to hear more of my embarrassing life stories or like just embarrassing things that I did, I will share more. Thanks for listening. Hope you guys enjoyed this. I love you guys. And I will see you next time.